late last year, YouTube introduced something called the YouTube Music Key. Would you tell everybody what that is and how it's going? Yeah. Um, so we, we launched a, a um, music service, uh, um, which we launched in beta. And it's got a couple of key features, which is that users can see uh, the music corpus ads-free. Um, they can see, use, listen to the music um, offline. Um, and they can background, which means that they have it on their phone and they can go and check their email or browse the web or do whatever they, else they want while they have the YouTube um, music in, their, in, in the background. And you know, YouTube just has a, a really um, impressive collection of music. So if any of you are music aficionados like, and there's a specific song you want, like, we probably have it and like 10 other times it was recorded on YouTube. And um, so we launched this in beta which has been really, really useful for us. We have learned a lot of things. Our use, we launched it to a subset of our um, most um, like very heavy music users. As a subscription service, yes? As a subscription service, yeah. Um, um, and um, they've given us a lot of feedback. And so we have taken that feedback. We are um, re, you know, adjusting it based on that feedback and um, with plans to launch you know, later this year. And what will that launch look like? I mean, and, and how should we understand it? Are, or will, will, should we see Music Key as being on par with Apple Music and Spotify? Well, I think it's a little bit different um, because the music and, and the corpus that we have is very different. Um, it's different because we have, you know, first of all, we have the music videos, which, you know, it, like being able to see your favorite music uh, artists perform a song and see what they imagined when they created that song. It, it's really magical, and so being able to have that. But then on top of that, we have all the user-generated clips of like, other people having taken that song and done covers with it. So our corpus is very different, um, and I think that's that's been... So we're sort of thinking about how to lean into that more and to enable users to be able to get both the videos and really make that important, um, as well as um, getting all of the other user-generated and uploaded content. My last question before opening it up. Um, you mentioned earlier that you were involved in the DoubleClick acquisition. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of small and not so small companies doing various music things, SoundCloud, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. Will YouTube be acquisitive? And I don't mean in a small way, but potentially in a big way? Yeah. Um, I mean, so in the ads world, we did a lot of acquisitions. Um, you know, we, we, we spent a lot of money. Um, Kind of across, buying different um, businesses, and you know, in general, the way it worked is we had a strategy, and we said, "This is our strategy, and this is where we want to go." And um, and when we looked at the at the strategy, we said, "These companies, like AdMob, for example, was an acquisition that we did." Um, we said, "You know what, mobile app advertising." And again, this was a, a long time ago. Um, yeah. And I didn't have a baby right at that time, so I can't remember the year. <laughs> um, so uh, we did add mob acquisition. And like we saw app installs are going to be really significant. App advertising is going to be very important. Um, we understood it would like increase the, the display um, inventory, and so we did the acquisition. I think with YouTube, what I'm seeing is, is that a lot of the hard work for us to do uh, is there's a lot of hard work we need to do. Um, but if there is a company that helps us get to our strategy faster, um, or acquire users that we don't have, then we'll buy. Then we will buy companies. So um, internal product development first, but absolutely yes to an acquisition I think, if, if you find one, including I a big one. Yeah, I think. I mean, anything that helps us move faster is going to. Th th that if we look, if I look at our strategy and say, look, we can get here a year faster because we have people and they know this business, then yes, we're going to look at that and we're going to do that acquisition. Because I think this is a big market. I think there's a lot of opportunity here. Time to market is important. Having the right um, skill set is really important. And um, so, like, I don't really, I like, I don't really care how we get there as long as we get there um, and we have, um, you know, the, a, a great product with, you know, um, a billion plus users growing.